We started the foundation from the basketball camp. You know, we're doing the basketball camp several years before the foundation, and we developed relationship with the kids. The next year, we were like, what happened to so-and-so? What happened to so-and-so? You know, he was, you know, incarcerated, he got in trouble, and, um, you know, it wasn't a good feeling after you develop a good relationship with a kid for one summer, then you lose him the following year. The evolution of the camp over even the last, you know, 25 years when I think about it that I've been involved, that's something I'm so proud of to see the growth that yes, it started out as a basketball camp and it's unbelievable because the basketball camp is still going strong like 30 some odd years later. But to see how they've really expanded their reach, they're in the schools, they have the STEM program, they've got the learning how to swim program. They're really looking at our youth as how can we best prepare them for the future. It's extremely important for the foundation to help kids in the community holistically through um, mental health, through education, through sports, and also um, um, physical, physical health. You know, that's extremely important to the foundation. We also have a um, chill zone program where we teach them how to um, deal with the emotion and regulate the emotion and make proper life choices. The fact that we have that program, it's really helped out kids see what they can become outside of just basketball, or how to react to an adverse situation outside of a court, outside of yelling at a ref, outside of getting angry and wanting to, to hit someone. They want to, to talk to a coach and say, hey, this happened, what can I do better? What can I do to fix this? Can you help me with this problem that I'm having? And it really teaches kids that there's someone there for them, not just to help them win, but to help them succeed. If I wasn't here at this camp, honestly, I would think I wouldn't have that much confidence as I have now. Like, taking shots, working out, being better, being a better person, being a better player. The tutorial program, I think, is very essential to, towards the development of the kids. We want to keep them focused in their academics, you know, make sure they get to elementary school, make sure they get to high school, make sure they get to CJOC, and eventually um, get a degree, a university degree. We have helped a lot, a lot of kids obtain basketball scholarship and, schol and academic scholarship as a whole. When I was a camper, all of our coach, all of our counselors, they, were, they had scholarships to play in the States. They were playing at big universities. They were on the national team. And so I directly saw what I could be. And that really opened up my eyes. You know, just looking back and you see the young, men and young ladies evolving in their lives and moving on. I think that's what, you know, the best thing about the foundation. It just bridges the gap between different countries, different towns in Montreal, different communities, different races, and that's something that's so, so special. The foundation has helped over 22,000 kids. We're planning to double it, you know, in the next couple of years or so. Without your participation, without your help, the foundation won't be in the place where it's at today to attend our fundraiser, tell your neighbors, tell your cousin, pick up the phone, go to the website, go to twkf.com, see all the information and all the programs that we offer. And you know, we would love to get you guys involved and, and be a part of the foundation. Whatever your mind can conceive, your body can achieve. I think it's crucial for people to donate, not only the people that have come through to give back, but donating your time, donating your energy, donating your expertise, whatever that is. Volunteer, donate, help somebody that wasn't able to financially do it. This is where Trevor Williams Foundation comes in. There's many ways you can get involved with the foundation. You know, you can obviously donate, you know, but we, um, we definitely need volunteers. One of the biggest life lessons I've learned here is that everyone has something to give. Everyone's valuable, everyone is great at something, and if you can just share that gift, you're gonna connect with others and you're just gonna make, you know, as cliche as it sounds, you're gonna make the world a better place. And this foundation is somewhere that encourages that, that embraces it, and wants to, you know, help all our young people shine.